Hey everyone, it's me. Now, as you guys can see, I am on a very interesting Tumblr page. And this is actually being run by Red Barrels. The link up here is obviously up here and it will be down in the description now. I'm actually doing this talking about the DLC content that may possibly be coming out later this year. Um, the reason I am doing this is because a lot of the time when I do post up stuff about Outlast 2, there's someone somewhere asking or hoping that there's going to be a DLC. Uh, from what I had found out shortly before Outlast 2 had been released, there was a rumour going around called um, Outlast 2 DLC Excommunication. Now, that link and that whole entire thread in itself that was on Steam uh, had been removed. And I can't actually find a copy of it, but you can find it, uh, or at least people talking about it, on a Wikipedia page if you look up Outlast 2 DLC. It'll come up with some interesting stuff up there. But that's besides the point. I want to talk about this Tumblr page and how we might possibly be getting a DLC. Now, as you guys can see, there's a lot of interesting stuff on here. You know, you've got these strange photographs of burning crosses that remind you of Children of the Corn. When you highlight over stuff, it comes up with um, you know, little quotes like, I will fear no man. Uh, there's interesting stuff here like doctors talking about dream therapy, going to deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. Now, there's it's a lot. It's like a mixture of Outlast 2 and Outlast and what happened. And like I said, there's stuff in here that reminds me of Children of the Corn. I mean, even this cross here reminds me greatly of Children of the Corn. And it says the the prophet promised and it came to be true. Now, there's some other really interesting stuff in here when uh, my internet does finally load up properly and here we go and there's one that says do not worship the swarm now as we know in outlast father martin worshiped the swarm he had basically a religion of those that would follow him or want a protection that worshiped the war rider and in outlast 2 we can assume that there's something similar going on i mean sullivan Doff is convinced that he's following the acts of what he believes is to be God. And if you go to the Wikipedia page about Sullivan Off, it talks a little bit in depth. Now that was brought up well before Outlaws 2 had come out that uh, Sullivan Off had had a vision of this creature, this being that he classified as um, Ezekiel. And then he created the, um, the New Testament of Ezekiel. Um, or something weird along those lines. But anyway, this Tumblr account is very interesting. As I said, it's been run by Red Barrels. And they're linking a lot of interesting stuff. I mean, there's stuff in here about Billy Hope. Um, there's stuff from Sullivan North. Obviously, as you can see, there's there's chapters from Sullivan North's um, things. Like, you know, his, his, his Gospels, I should say, to be more accurate. And um, as you guys can see, there's it's like there's someone going on a journey. Like, someone's actually taking some photos and seeing some things and uh, posting them up and I think that's what Red Barrels is, is linked to that possibly that this character person whatever is finding information about what happened um, what Murkoff is really up to and trying to link it all together and it's it's like it's so confusing but at the same time it's pretty cool and to tell the truth yes I do believe that they are talking about a DLC that may possibly be linking everything to what you know, together because that was the biggest thing about Outlast 2. We didn't get a real explanation as to what exactly happened and it really annoyed a lot of people. It left people going, okay, you know what, well, that's, you know, what do I do now? Is there another ending? Um, people have tried to play through it and find, you know, different endings, but there are no other endings. It's, it's the same thing. Maybe a slightly different looking Jessica, but that's about all you're going to get. So, what is the dealio with this Tumblr? Now, this Tumblr was um, put up, as I said, a bit before Outlast had been released. In fact, um, it came out before there was even a lot of information about Outlast 2 being released, which was a month before Outlast 2 had been released. Um, as confusing as that sounds, now, this was basically linking towards a lot of religious stuff, and then as we all found out, you know, that's what Outlast 2 was going to be about, some religious cult that was crazy and just, you know, messed up. But, um, for people that really like to get into the whole theory stuff, this webpage, which is going to be down in the description, is it's got a whole heap of information that I think theory people would just absolutely love to dive into. It's heaven. It is absolute bliss. I mean, you've got, you've got all these weird songs, and you've got, like, uh, like this thing here that says, uh, song, his screaming, slash, artist, Blake Lenneman. Wow, what? <laughs> uh, there's audios, there's videos, there's all these weird, creepy little, um, pictures that have put up from the game or from, you know, in person when they've actually, you know, taken photos of stuff. 
it's like we are watching someone going on a trip and talking about something that's going on, but we don't know who this is. I mean, are we looking at someone from one of the comics, you know? Um, are we looking at Simon Peacock? No, I, I, don't, I doubt it is because it, it talks about Simon Peacock a little bit, saying you know, he was the one to send the coordinates and stuff like that. But if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm also going to be putting in the links, uh, actually, sorry, in the description, there will be a link to the um, comic page, which it has a whole heap of information. It talks a lot in depth about Chris Walker, about Billy Hope. It, it just dives into the characters themselves. It sort of does, it actually, it does lead up to um, Outlast 2. And that's sort of where the last comic ends, but it, it goes into a little bit of information about the Jane Doe, and I actually want to do a video talk about Jane Doe at the end, uh, when I finish doing all of the characters from Outlast 2. So to put that really simple and short, um, hopefully you guys will check this page out. Also, if you desperately want to keep up with information, uh, Red Barrel's Twitter page is going to be down in the description, the link there. There's someone that you definitely want to be following because there's going to be a lot of information. Well, I feel like there's going to be a lot of information popping up about what's to come soon. Now, when Red Barrels doesn't do um, announce certain stuff or whether there's new information put out there through a leak, I will hopefully be able to do a little bit of talk like this right now about that. But for now, um, this is all I've really got to come up with and sort of, you know, say that yes, I definitely believe we're going to get a DLC. Um, I don't think it's just going to be another comic installment. I, there's going to be another comic, obviously, but um, there's going to be a DLC. There has to be a DLC. That's that's a, a thing that I believe Red Barrels is definitely going to do to sum everything up together. Uh, whether they do a third game um, to this installment is currently unknown, but I guess we'll find out if they do indeed do a DLC and whether it leads to anything else. For now, thank you guys for listening to me ramble. I hope this has been really good and um, informational for some people that didn't know about this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit that thumbs up button and comment down below what you guys think. Whether we're going to get all DLC and what's it going to be called. Obviously, I doubt it's going to be called um, Outlast 2 DLC Excommunication, but who knows. That could have been a really interesting leak. Uh, it's currently, I know, but I think for the moment, um, what we've been getting from the Tumblr page, it's definitely talking about someone going somewhere, following um, information left behind from the cult. There's information being dropped down about Jonestown, which uh, I'm not going to talk about that, but it was an actual real event involving a cult, um, and the cult leader basically demanded all that all of his followers kill themselves, which is very similar to what happened in Outlast with Sullivan you know, He basically demanded all of his followers to kill themselves before he killed himself. Um, but I'm not going to get into depth with that, as I said. But uh, yeah, thank you guys, and I will see you all another day. Bye.